Okay, Joe. So this week, we're not going to talk about derivatives or even crypto trading data. I want people to understand why it is impossible to predict the Bitcoin price movements and how useless it is trying to estimate a fair value for market capitalization for Bitcoin and Ethereum, considering the, the, the very low uh, crypt, uh, global adoption. It's very thin. It's like less than 6% of the global population use cryptocurrencies. So everyone is probably familiar with Netflix, the, the video streaming company. So uh, I want to share uh, my trading view screen, please. So we're going to start from the beginning. Uh, if you can see my screen, the trading, yeah. So starting from 2003, you can see that the price skyrocketed from seven cents all the way to 550 right after the company launched its shares. It existed back to 1997, but its shares in 2002. So what happened over there? Uh, we, we had DVD subscription by mail. That was what Netflix used to do. It was not a streaming company. You, you rented the DVD company, the DVDs themselves, physical copies, and you got them by mail. Uh, some of you are unfamiliar with that, but that's how the company started. So what happened there? Why, why did the stock plunge? Because there was too much competition, uh, which included uh, Blockbuster, the traditional brick and mortar stores, but there, there's also growing demand and offering for uh, satellite TV and even cable TV. So everyone uh, thought that uh, Netflix was lost. Uh, they, they lost the battle because their other options were better for it. So the stock collapsed 70, 75% in nine months. Okay, thanks for sharing. So we saw an incumbent company uh, struggling to compete with traditional well-funded TV giants. What does that have to do with cryptos? Well, everything. Firstly, the crypto industry is in infancy. It's just starting and constantly evolving from decentralized finance to NFT, layer two solutions, zero knowledge privacy, NFC enabled payments. There's even a debit card that you can use with, debit with Bitcoin right now, Lightning Network. You don't need even swipe. You just get your card next to the POS and it's paid. Uh, so there's everything it's emerging like Web3 identity. Every everything is being developed under our eyes. And the traditional finance and finance uh, company, the banks themselves are well-funded. So it's easy for the general public to think, well, there's no way to compete with Visa, with MasterCard, with JP Morgan. Th those are giants in the payment system and international payments. There's the central banks, uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum and the, the, the DeFi centralized finance is never going to win the battle. So it's really hard to predict how much those, this industry can grow. So I want to share another screen. We're going to come back to the Netflix chart, but this time we're going to see a more recent time frame, 2011. So that was after the broadband merged. Uh, Netflix won the fight against Blockbuster, and it was finally able to stream high quality content uh, on the internet. So what happened there is that the number of memberships, the number of subscribers grew, so did the stock price. It jumped from $7 all the way to $42 in 18 months. Wow. Well, he thought it was a bubble and it was followed by a 77% crash in five months. So that's the second bubble for Netflix. So uh, I'm, we're going to jump to a more recent time frame that's uh, 2021 right now. And uh, again, we, we see a, a huge jump on the price followed by a 75% crash in five months. So you see that Netflix over the span of 15 years had 75% crashes three times. Thanks. So what's the lesson here? Well, one can say, well, it, 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 bubbles are normal for tech stocks and emerging uh, industries, but we haven't seen that. Uh, most of the Amazon and Googles and Facebooks, yes, they're 
there may be that was uh, one bubble back then in 2000 and the stock dropped. But with Netflix and cryptocurrencies, we're seeing the recurrent bubble formation and 75 drops. So the, the, my point is when it is impossible to predict how much the market can grow 10 times, 100 times, 1,000 times, we don't know how much Bitcoin and Ethereum and the decentralized finance can grow. It, it can grow 1,000 times in 10 years or 20 years. We don't know. It's impossible to estimate. So that's what causes the bubble. The same thing happened with Netflix. It was impossible to predict that it, it, it was going to win the battle against satellite TV or cable TV. It was impossible to predict it was, it was going to grow to a company with 200 million subscribers. Nobody could even think about that five years earlier. So that's why the bubbles happen so often. So don't think that's something uh, explicit about uh, cryptocurrency. That is that because it pressured for the third time 75%. Netflix is strong. It's one of the 100 uh, biggest companies in the world. It has uh, revenues and net income of over $5 billion per year, 13,000 uh, employees. So it's a huge company and it's going to continue growing over the years.